Well, hi everyone, Dan Bartlett here. Nice beep. Coming to you from June Lake, California. And today is uh, February 17th in the moon. And it's getting pretty close to first quarter. Not there yet, but it does limit my shooting capability. So really, I'm looking at about 11.30 to maybe 5, 5.45 in the morning. That's the window of opportunity before the next storm comes in. So what are we going for? We're going for the asteroid Apopsis, A-P-O-P-H-I-S. And uh, interestingly enough, that's the Greek name for the Egyptian god of death and destruction. Oh, crazy. So what about this? Well, this is the big asteroid that a few years back in 2004, they were thinking, hey, this has a big chance of hitting the Earth. And it's a 325 meter chunk of rock in diameter. And that's three football fields and that's pretty devastating. Quite a bit more of an impact than the Tunguska uh, impact in Siberia back in the early 1900s. So this thing is going to come around and it will not hit us. At least that's what our projections are in 2029. But this year we have a close approach on July 29th. So right now, as I shoot for it, it's about 15th, 16th magnitude, upper 15th magnitude. And I want to see if I can grab this thing. Right now it's 0.12 AUs away from us. That's a tenth of an astronomical unit, a tenth of the distance from us to the sun. That's, uh, you know, divide that uh, carry the one in. It's like a, like a light minute away or so, a little bit over that. So, Wow, this will be kind of a treat to get this thing early before the 2029 visit uh, on a April 13th, a Friday. It should be interesting to get what we can get. So let's stay tuned and let's find out if we can get it. It's going to be another clear night. Storm is coming through. Pretty excited. Cheers. Good morning, folks. Dan Bartley here. Well, we had a great night last night looking at uh, asteroid MN4 Apopsis. And it was a lot easier to capture, I thought, even though we had some controlled burning out here. They do that in the wintertime because uh, it's not as safe in the summer. You could have some bad fires. So the star shapes are a little bit bloated, but the capture of asteroid Apopsis is actually pretty good. A couple of corrections I like to make, though, is Apopsis does have a 323.6 day orbit. It goes around the sun in somewhat less than our 365 days, 323. Okay, that means every year we have a perihelion date, and I kind of mistaken that as the closest approach date when I first recorded this. But on July 29th is perihelion date. Closest approach as I ran the JPL small object database, closest approach is just in a few days, March 3rd. Today is February 18th. 
So that's kind of interesting. Um, what else? Every year, the asteroid, because of its shorter period, will catch up to us. And every year, it'll be a little bit further along in the orbit than we are, because it's going around a little bit faster. It takes fewer days. Also, interestingly enough, this orbit has a, of the orbit of Apophis is fairly circular. And a circular orbit would, ha would have an eccentricity of zero. Um, and this one is about 0.19 or 0.2. So it's fairly circular. Anyway, I got to pick up the scope. We got storms coming. Not bad ones, but wind event. Don't want to go through what I did back on November 17th when both scopes blew down. I'm going to pick up the scopes. Um, and we're probably done for about a week and a half because the moon's going to come in. And uh, yeah, with that. So lots of fun. Uh, see you in a little bit. As always, best of observing.